Who is the Apostle of Liberty? Find out on today's Three Minutes in UU History. Star King earned the name the Apostle of Liberty for his influential work in California in just four years as he lived there. Like many of the things we cover in Three Minutes in UU History, we are sure to cover the works of Thomas Star King again in the future. And we wanted to kick off his set of videos highlighting his work that kept California in the Union during the Civil War. As an American Universalist and Unitarian minister, Star King accepted a call to, the, to be the lead minister of the first Unitarian church in San Francisco in 1860, when he was 36. Already a famous speaker and minister from the Eastern United States, Star King in person was a bit of a shock for the congregation. He was described as a beardless, thinly framed, thinly framed, and perhaps even frail <laughs> by many people. When this came up, Star King famously said, though I weigh only 120 pounds, when I am mad, I weigh a ton. <laughs> this was reflected in his ceaseless work to keep the union whole. Star King blended his work this work, this calling, and his faith together seamlessly. He was a well-known speaker described as fiery in his passion to keep California in the United States and to keep the union whole. It was noted that crowds as large as 40,000 people would gather to hear him speak, mixing politics and religion. Star King once recollected of an 1861 speech. I pledged California to a Northern Republic and to a flag that would have no treacherous threads of cotton in its warp. And the audience came down in thunder. He was also remembered as a strong fundraiser, once having noted having gathered more than uh, $1 million for sick and wounded Union soldiers, which was a significant amount of money in this time. After his March 4th, 1864 death from diphtheria, Star King lay in state. He was wrapped in an American flag. He had a military honor guard who stood by his casket the entire time. And more than 20,000 people came to his church to pay their respects to him. Star King's body was entombed on the front lawn of his newly completed church, where even today you can go and visit it. And that, my friends, is three minutes in UU history. Thank you.